What is up, guys? Welcome to another video. In case you guys don't know, the beta of, uh, well, Fedora 34 is out. So if you were using any other build before that, just do, do a DNF uh, update real quick. So sudo DNF update and get yourself to the newest version. That way you'll have less issues. So it is officially in beta and you can find it on the website with ease and without issue. So we're going to be going over GNOME 40 today, just GNOME 40. Uh, you know, a nice little article came out detailing all the changes, and I figured, why not? Let's turn that freaking thing into a video. So, yeah, we're going to get to that. I'm going to just put this somewhere out of my way. First of all, most of you probably know that the biggest change is this, right here. We got rounded corners. Um, you have your workspaces big and up in front. Uh, drag and drop to any workspace, just like anything else. Boom, get that out of the way. Um, so biggest feature, your dash is now at the bottom instead of on the side, right? So here it is. It's got nice rounded corners, and it's about five pixels off of the floor, which is nice. Uh, the app launcher now slides up from the bottom, so boom. That's totally notable, but you know, technically it is, it's very notable. What else, what else, what else? Visual changes. Yeah, so about the whole thickness thing, I think that's only Fedora. I'm not sure if that's completely GNOME 40, but I like the fact that they made it more compact. It's, it's, a, it's actually a lot nicer. So you're gonna notice that there's a lot of rounded corners now okay and it has a more modern feel they wanted to go a little bit big sir with this so that's pretty cool actually i think that this 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 whole compact thing is more than just fedora it's definitely has to be something else now something i can't demonstrate unfortunately is gestures but i can demonstrate how smooth uh transitioning back and forth between things are even inside of a vm uh one user noticed damn that's smooth the one thing I don't like is the consistency. I mean, you go from rounded corners here to sharp little corners up here. These corners should also be rounded. Hopefully, they'll fix that before this week's release. Um, they used to be vertical workspaces, as I told you. Uh, changing to dynamic ones is probably a better thing. They've added a new tour here, which is pretty nice. I'm not going to go over that, though. So you can actually, I believe, swipe up from the bottom using your trackpad with three fingers from left to right between uh, moves between uh, workspaces, so that's cool. Uh, a three finger push up enters the overview. So as I said, if you if you pushed up from here on your normal screen, like right here, it would enter this overview mode. So that's pretty neat. Um, really? Oh, so if we also do super alt up, that enters the overview. Uh, super alt down, Closes the app launcher, okay, right, and super alt left and right moves between user spaces. So that's really cool. Now there's been changes to the file manager, Nautilus. Yes, so it learns a couple new tricks. We're gonna go over here and we're gonna go to preferences. So sort files, so sort folders before files. You want to have that on. Uh, expandable folders in list view. That'd be pretty cool. Double click to open. You can create links and context menus and delete permanently, whatever. Uh, delete permanently is probably something I'd have on because if I'm getting rid of something, it's for good, right? Uh, you can search in subfolders, show thumbnails, count numbers and files directly. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, when trying to copy or move a file someplace with an existing file of the same name, you now get the option to rename the file being moved and the built-in .zip ext uh, extraction feature now supports password protected. So you can password protect zip files. That's pretty nice for all you uh, tinfoil hats out there. Ooh, ooh, the weather app. The weather app. We got to go look at the weather app. Ooh, got an overhaul. Let's try this. Uh, what time is it? I almost have to actually go, which is fine, but got to get this video over with. Look at that. That is a nice weather app. It's actually 11. It actually feels like 11 here today. 
That's not as hot as it was yesterday, but apparently it's supposed to go up to 15 today, which I, I'm I'm not I'm not going to be mad at all, right? Because I get to take my kids to the park. So this is really cool. I want to see what all this looks like in dark mode. The problem is tweak tool sort of uh, non-existent anymore. I don't think that we're going to be using that. I would love to be able to change the themes. If you don't mind, you know, no, you want to build that into extensions where we can change the themes because that's the biggest part of GNOME that I love, you know. Thanks. So I'm going to go tweak tool. We're going to grab it and we're going to see if we can, you know, do the thing. Real quick, launch that. Uh, extensions have moved. All right, so you can't change the other theme either. Let's go to dark. Ooh, dark looks slick as hell. Look at this. Look at the rounded corners on the gnome. It's awesome. Like, this looks great. This is actually very modern. Um, maps. So, gnome maps breaks new ground by refreshing the appearance of place bubbles, which is... Is that all they did? Was... Oh, and... Apparently, you can specify location or locale being uh, using information gleaned from Wikipedia. So that's that's pretty cool. Huh. Mobile devices. It works well on mobile. You know what? My bet is they did this because PinePhone is such a thing. I think GNOME 40 is going to be really well optimized. So that's cool. So the web browser got an overhaul. Software Center got an overhaul. Um carousel got an overhaul i don't know what that does compose key got an overhaul uh settings tweaks definitely got an overhaul visually speaking rounded corners uh more compact more information in there and yeah i love it Ooh, the about page shows hardware vendors and matching names now that is true it does so this is pretty cool uh, here's the thing. Ubuntu is not updating to this, and I, I, I understand why, right? I don't think any of its extensions are ready, and they don't want it to look like stock GNOME, do they? They they want their own thing going on. They want that really ugly look that they got, and until they find a way to do that, I don't think they're going to be pushing GNOME 40 anytime soon. GNOME 40 is is beautiful. It is awesome, but I do I I love my dash to dock. I love it. I love it with a with a fiery passion. It is beautiful. It is it is wonderful. So let's go take a look at dash to dock, and we're gonna see maybe uh, if they have a work in progress branch. Because if they do, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. No, if I install that, this is the one we want. We're gonna go here. And experimental, experimental, uh, GP pages, 3, 4, 3, 6, 3, 8, 3, 2, 2, there's nothing. Ah, 40? There's no, there's no work in progress branch. And it doesn't look like there's any mention of one here. Are they quitting? They better not be quitting. Let's go to issues. Uh-huh, many apps, panel mode, maximized bugs, feature request known 40. Does not work in tweak tools. Don't work with GNOME 40. Let's see what people say here. Uh, same here. FYI, touchpad support. Shows shell. Now GNOME shell 40 is available, although in the Archer system, waiting for. Okay, so is that the developer that should be pushing it? I don't know. So, no GNOME 40. That kind of blows. Uh, no GNOME 40 support. Well, we got to keep hoping. Because I'm not fully switching over to GNOME 40 again until I have the, my ability to have my dock here at all times. That's important to me. But that's a lot of changes for a desktop environment. It really is. Not to mention that uh, Fedora 40 got... Fedora 40. Wow. What will Fedora 40 look like? Uh, Fedora 34 got Pulse Audio 5.12 kernel um new compression for butter fs and a whole bunch of other stuff so this was a primary look just at gnome 40 because i figured it was a big enough change that it warranted its own video its own final video do i still find this desktop environment beautiful i really do i like the whole rounded design look i think it's clean i like the fact that they compacted the top bars i mean they took a lot away from us but you know just perfection and many other developers will give that back to us so I'm looking forward to what I can term 
my GNOME 40 into really looking like. I mean, if I wanted to, I could go and I could go install Plank and I could have the dock and I could have it floating off the ground a little bit. But, you know, I want my dash to dock because this dash to dock is beautiful. I'm actually going to use the command. So it's just boom. So I want this dock. This, this is a beautiful dock. It's built in, right? So I just want it to pop up and stay on my desktop. I've actually asked the developer um, on his GitHub and in a live stream if he can give us the option in settings to have dash to dock right there, right? Right here to have it, to be able to customize it the way that we want to. But he has no plans. He doesn't want to do that. And I find that a bit silly because most people will end up automatically going to dash to dock. That's what they do. So if they ended up building that in, it would be better overall for the project. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, tell me your thoughts about GNOME 40. It will be releasing this week sometime, so um, look forward to that. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm, which is completely broken right now. And um, subscribe for farther Linux content or emulation or Unreal Engine 4. And join the community Discord because every single video that I upload will go there first. And I hope you guys stay safe. We are in the middle of pandemic, so don't forget to social distance and wear a mask when you go outside. And I'll